This video explains about the procedure to draw sectional views of a square pyramid. The square pyramid is resting on the ground with its base. In the sense the axis of the pyramid is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. With its base it is equally inclined to VP. The cutting plane is inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP. Draw an XY line first. Since the base edges of the pyramid are equally inclined to VP, initially one base edge should be drawn 45 degree to XY line. Then draw two sides perpendicular to the first one. Join the end points and complete the square. Draw the diagonal of the pyramid. These diagonals are the slant edges in the plan. Name the corners. Intersection point of the diagonal is the apex point or vertex point. Project the apex point and maintain the height of the elevation. Project the base corners up to the XY line. Join these to the apex point. These are the slant edges in the elevation. Name the points on the elevation. Now the projection part is over. The sectional plane is perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. Since the section plane is perpendicular to VP, we can see the cutting plane as a straight line of elevation. Locate the cutting plane on the axis. Draw a horizontal reference line. Draw the cutting plane of the given angle. Project the points where the cutting plane cuts the solid. And find out the corresponding points in the plan. Join these points. The slant edges within the sectional area will no longer exist. To draw the true shape of the section, draw a perpendicular line for the cutting plane from the points wherever the cutting plane cuts the pyramid. Measure the distances of each of the points from the plan and transfer it to the perpendicular lines drawn from the cutting plane. Join these points by straight lines. Draw sectional lines in the true shape. Thus all the views are completed.